I'm Jim Conda Jr. and I'm going to tell you in this short video about the strangest political secret. On Thursday, March 26, 2009, at quarter to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a young lady with an all-American voice who sounded 30-something called into the Sean Hannity show. She expressed her frustration to Sean how the public officials, Republican and Democrat, were unresponsive to her and to everyone else she knew. And Sean began to read, read her a list of the tea parties that were coming up, rallies that are being held in, in early 2009. As he was reading the list, she interrupted him and said, Sean, I need more than tea parties. Now that lady was speaking for millions of Americans who know that letter writing and rallies, such as the Tea Party, which are good in themselves, are not enough. They need something more. That is the strangest political secret. When you hear me tell you the strangest political secret now, you're going to be amazed that no one has ever explained it to you. We see the candidates, but where do the candidates come from? Now, with the exception of Obama, we all know that there's 50 states. Those 50 states are divided into 3,141 counties. For instance, my state of Ohio is divided into 88 counties. This is what they don't want you to know about. They want you to think all you can do is beg by writing letters and, and going to rallies, but no, every one of us should get involved in some way or other in running or supporting a constitutionalist to run for precinct executive in the 2010 primary and then go to these meetings. And if the party leaders don't shape up, if they don't take a pledge or an oath to support the Constitution, to, to not cooperate with any orders to disarm the American people, to withhold food from the American people, to declare the American people enemy combatants, to shut down the internet. If they don't agree with this, then we have to knock out all the party leaders in the Democrat and Republican Party and replace them with normal Americans who want to keep the freedoms in our country. Do you see why they don't want you to know about these meetings? So now do you see why this is the strangest political secret, why they don't want you to know about this? Will you organize with me? Will you help me educate and mobilize 50 to 200,000 Americans to just take this simple 10 minute lesson? And I want to close with lines that a po poet named Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote uh, against some perceived injustice in 1819. And it applies to us today. He said, rise like lions after slumber in unvanquishable number. Shake your chains to earth like dew which in sleep had fallen on you. Ye are many, they are few. Take action today. 